In this video, I'm going to share five great dropshipping niches in 2019. These niche ideas are super relevant if you're dropshipping with Shopify and Oberlo. I'll tell you why I recommend dropshipping products in a niche over a general store, and I'll also share winning products to sell for all the niches on this list. By the end of this video, you'll know how niche stores can increase sales for a lower cost, how to use niche content to keep customers coming back, and winning product ideas for every niche. Watch to the end, because one of these winning products has racked up over 9,000 sales in the past 30 days, and you definitely haven't heard of it before. Ready to get started? Watch on. It's Jessica from Overlo. Today I'm talking about the best dropshipping niches for 2019. Before I get on with the list, let's make sure we're on the same page about dropshipping. Dropshipping is one of the easiest ways to start an online business. Instead of buying tons of inventory for your Shopify store, you only order products when you get sales. Your supplier ships your orders for you, so you can sell all over the world. But being a successful dropshipper requires constant learning. Make sure you hit subscribe so you never miss our weekly tutorials, dropshipper interviews, and dropshipping product recommendations recommendations every Tuesday and Thursday. Whether you're new to Shopify or an experienced overload dropshipper, the decision between a general store or a niche store is as old as dropshipping itself. First, let me explain the difference between the two. A dropshipping niche store carries products that fall under a specific category. They're complementary and share a similar audience. Niches can be bigger or smaller depending on what you want to target. An example of a big niche would be baby clothes. An example of a smaller niche would be streetwear style baby clothes. A general store carries a variety of products that don't necessarily have anything in common. Most often, they carry trending products from a variety of different niches. Big retail stores are a real world example. General stores might carry trending kitchen gadgets alongside baby clothes and jewelry. In dropshipping courses and videos, most instructors strictly suggest one or the other. In complete fairness, I've seen both work many times. However, there are a few reasons I suggest choosing a niche on Shopify over selling products in a general store. First, a niche store makes it much easier to target a specific audience. When your dropshipping store is all set up, the next step is to find an audience to advertise to. This is one of the biggest challenges for both the beginner and experienced dropshipper. If your audience is too broad, you'll see very low conversions. When you're selling kitchen gadgets and skull rings in the same store, it's very difficult to find a small and targeted audience to advertise to. I've seen dropshippers make this mistake time and time again. If you're running low budget Facebook ads to a huge audience, they will not convert. Imagine casting a small fishing line into a random part of the ocean. While there are billions of fish, you might use the wrong bait for the fish in that area and end up empty handed. With a niche store, you'd be casting your small fishing line in a smaller lake. You'd know exactly what type of fish is the most popular there, so you could use the right bait to catch them. There's a second advantage to having a dropshipping niche store. Once you do have some customers in traffic, a niche store will allow you to lower your cost per sale. When running a general store, you need to run ads individually for every product. Each individual product requires a unique audience and ad. Your Facebook business manager bill will quickly add up. With a niche store, you can advertise a carousel of similar products to one audience. Even if you advertise a single product, that customer is more likely to be interested in checking out the other products in your store. The last advantage dropshipping niche stores have over general stores is returning customers. Once you've made a sale, you'll have your customer's email address and you can use it to send relevant content and product suggestions. For example, if you're selling streetwear inspired baby clothes, you can confidently send your customers emails with baby clothing trends and similar products in your store. Make sure to check out this video to learn exactly how to use emails to increase conversions. If you're running a general store, it will be much harder to convert previous customers again. If a customer buys a skull ring from your store, they'll most likely not be interested when you suggest that they buy a microwave cleaner next. Okay, now you know that niche is the way to go. Let's get started with the list of five growing niches for Shopify stores in 2019. The first dropshipping niche you can feel confident building a store around is the wedding niche. Millennials have seriously changed the wedding industry today. The number of weddings in the United States has increased year after year. However, the way millennials plan their weddings has changed dramatically. One reason is cost. On average, couples expect to pay $16,000, but they end up spending roughly $29,000 on their weddings. While the bride might be attached to a pricey ring and gown, you can rest assured she's looking to save money on wedding decor. And these days, 
80% of wedding planning is done online. That's a huge opportunity for a wedding niche store. Another advantage of this niche? When planning a wedding, customers are shopping months in advance. That means shipping times are less of a concern. One winning product to consider selling in a wedding store is silk rose petals. With flowers costing an average of $1,800 per wedding, artificial rose petals can help couples cut costs without cutting romance. There are hundreds more products in Oberlo to sell in a wedding-themed store. Make sure to check out our 100 winning products for 2019 ebook in the description for more wedding-themed product ideas. The next niche for Shopify dropshipping has seen a steady growth over the last five years. Now is the perfect time to jump in. It's the smart home niche. The recent introduction of smart speakers has changed the way we live at home. While smart speakers started as a novelty item for techies, they are now popular among many different types of people. They've changed the way we interact with other products in our homes. What started out as one smart speaker in the home has grown into more and more products for the modern smart home. You might wonder why a customer would be interested in more smart home products if they already have a smart speaker. Well, 70% of people who own one smart device express interest in buying another. This is the perfect audience for your smart home dropshipping store. Once a person has a product that helps them daily, they want more. It is estimated that 477 million smart home products will be shipped globally in 2020. So now it's definitely the time to build a smart home niche store. If you're wondering what products to sell in this niche, I suggest the Bluetooth tracker. Yes, you've seen one before. No, it's not too saturated. Bluetooth trackers used to be a helpful novelty product for technology-driven folks. However, they required a smartphone to operate. And 10 years ago, not everyone had one. As smartphones have become more common, the market for this product has grown. This traffic is perfect for a slightly older audience. It's helpful for anyone who has trouble keeping track of things. And as an added bonus, this Bluetooth tracker comes with a video ad. You're free to use the video ad to market this product yourself. Six-figure dropshipper Ross Madden suggests you sell this product too. To find out why, click this video right here. The next dropshipping niche to consider selling in 2019 is the beauty niche. If you know anyone who is a self-proclaimed makeup fanatic, you know there's no such thing as enough beauty products. The global cosmetic products market was valued at around $532 billion in 2017. It's expected to reach approximately $863 billion in 2024. This market is exploding, creating the perfect opportunity for the savvy dropshipper. You can think outside of the box when it comes to selecting beauty products to sell. Although you can sell makeup, most makeup fanatics have brands they're already loyal to. However, there are plenty of related products that you can sell to this audience. If you start a Shopify store in this niche, I suggest selling a portable ring light. If you enjoy wearing makeup or know someone who does, you'll know that the lighting is extremely important. This is true not only for doing your makeup, but for showing it off too. This ring light is an inexpensive way for your customers to take their makeup selfie game to the next level. If you're running Facebook ads for this product, I suggest researching the most popular makeup companies and then building a Facebook audience around those brands. Makeup fanatics want to share their obsession with the rest of the community. So taking well-lit photos of their look is the perfect way to do it. In addition to the ring light, consider selling makeup bags or organizers for makeup palettes. If your audience is already splurging on makeup, they'll want a neat way to display and organize their cosmetics. You can advertise your beauty niche store anywhere, but I suggest looking into Instagram or YouTube beauty influencers. Their followers are loyal and take their suggestions seriously. If they see that their favorite makeup guru is using a portable ring light, they won't think twice about ordering one. The next dropshipping niche I suggest looking into is health and wellness. This one shouldn't come as a surprise. The health and wellness obsession is no longer a trend. It's here to stay. Everyone is paying more attention to their well-being and finding healthier ways to live. The health and wellness industry is a $4 trillion market. In the last three years, the industry has grown at double the speed of the entire global market. That's why this niche represents a great opportunity for dropshippers. The product I suggest for your health and wellness store is going to become increasingly popular over the next few years. It's an air quality monitor for your home. Air quality monitors have seen a steady growth over the last five years. That should be no surprise considering the increasing worldwide concern of global warming. As cities are growing, air quality pollution concerns are growing as well. That's why when advertising this product, you should build your audiences around cities, not entire countries. Alongside air quality monitors, consider selling other wellness products like water purifiers that attach directly to a sink. If your customer is concerned about one area of their health, they're most likely concerned in others as well. The last dropshipping niche on our list is 
the baby niche. Although the baby niche has always been popular, the baby care industry has shown consistent growth in the millions over the last few years. This is the perfect niche to start selling in for a few reasons. The first is that you're selling to an extremely passionate audience. Parents are willing to buy anything that will improve their lives and the lives of their children. The second reason to sell in this niche is that the baby niche includes a pregnancy grace period. Expectant mothers will begin ordering products for their infants before they're even born, so that makes shipping times less of a concern. Finally, 130 million babies are born each year, which means you'll always have a new customer. While they may not all be new mothers, they'll all be looking for products to make their lives a little easier. For that reason, the product I suggest selling in your baby niche store is silicone teething mitts. I'm sure many mothers wish this product was around when they had children. These are the perfect product for your store because they solve a huge concern mothers have. Teething is a frustrating and painful part of infancy for both mother and child, but these mitts help by giving the baby something soft and safe to chew. If you don't believe me, just look at the sales data. These mitts racked up over 9,000 orders in the past six months. Even if a mother is still expecting, she'll be anticipating teething terror in the future. This is a perfect product that not only looks cute, but will solve a major problem for your customer. Consider joining baby Facebook groups and looking into Instagram influencers to market this product. If an expectant mother hears another mother back this product up, she'll be far more inclined to purchase it. To stay ahead of your competition in this niche, Look for really unique products in Overlow to add to your Shopify store. Although baby clothes will always be a good product to sell, there are many new gadgets and accessories that solve problems for new mothers. Do your research and stay on top of what new products parents are buying to make their lives easier. Solving problems makes sales. But hey, that's just my opinion. I'd love to hear from you. What niches have you tried selling in? What worked and what didn't? Leave me a comment and let me know. I'll chime in with my thoughts. Thanks for watching and until next time, Learn often, market better, and sell more.